I am going to show you three types of sleeves, short, three quarters, and long. Uh, in this way, you will have everything in one tutorial. From this tutorial, you can create any sleeve and put any uh, sleeve uh, to any garment. Make sure the garment is turned with the right side towards you. And uh, here we finished with slip stitches around the sleeves. Let's join in the armpit. And I did not count the stitches, so I don't know how many I have. I will join in both loops. And chain one, pull it tightly so it forms uh, a loop right here. And you have an option to either follow this pattern, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, or this one where you put a double crochet in each stitch. I think that's what I'm going to do. I will put one double crochet in each stitch around. So I uh, chained one and pulled tightly. I will chain two more. <clears throat> this will count as a double crochet. And now I will put one double crochet in each stitch around and I will use both loops. You can use um, the back loop only if you wish. Since this is a sleeve and I'm planning to make it a long sleeve, I would like it to be more secure. That's why I will be using um, the two loops. Like so. One double crochet all the way around. I'll meet you back in the armpit. And then uh, slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning and close the round. This is what we have. Now you will be working with the wrong uh, or flip it in the, you will be working from this side. Here you have the option to chain three, double crochet into the next, and go another round of double crochets and continue um, doing double crochets only. And that will be your sleeve with nothing on it, just solid double crochets, front and back, front and back. You're gonna be flipping the work. Uh, what I would like to do is for my sleeve to add on the sleeve something like this to match the front uh, here we had four uh, we can do the same on the sleeve uh, so you will have to find the seam where you sewed and the double crochet aligned with that seam put a stitch marker in it Then we will do exactly what we did for the uh, front panel, but if you don't feel like watching that tutorial, now we will step to the left to the left and to the right from the middle. So this would be double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet. That will be here. A stitch marker and if this will have the double crochet here, skip one double crochet, skip one double crochet. It will be here. Put double crochets all the way to the first stitch marker. And one double crochet here. And a double crochet into the stitch marker. Let me remove it. Next. Now, chain one skip one double crochet into the next chain one skip one double crochet into the next that will be into the stitch marker that was in the um, aligned with the seam chain one skip one double crochet into the next chain one skip one double crochet into the next and here is our next stitch marker so we counted everything correctly and here are our four little 
squares. Now I will put continue putting double crochets until I reach the um, beginning of the round. And now I'll flip the work. From here on, you will be adding rounds and you will be following the pattern right here in the same way. So chain three counts as a double crochet. One double crochet in each stitch until we reach the uh, chain one space. And here we will follow the pattern, chain one, skip one double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one double crochet into the next, and it's very easy to see that you are putting the double crochets into the double crochets and the chain ones are right on top of the chain ones. And then one double crochet all the way around. That is how we are going to go. Slip stitching into the third chain from the beginning. And I will flip the work so I can work from the inside. And now I will be repeating the same steps like I um, did on the previous round and then this one. So basically repeat back and forth, back and forth until you reach the desired length of your short sleeve. You can go all the way to three quarters, you can go all the way to long. Um, I For this specific design, I will um, do a short sleeve. This one is enough for me for a short sleeve. So we have the total of one, two, three, four, five. Now I will add the sixth round, but on the sixth round, I will do just like I did on the first one with uh, no openings. This way it will look more finished. And um, here is what I meant. This is for my very beginner crocheters. Um, you will go into the chain or into the space, chain one space, then into the double crochet. Again, into the chain one space, into the double crochet, and so on until you use up all the uh, chain one spaces that you had, depending on whether you had two or four or you decided to go with six. And you will continue all the way around this way. This will look closed. And wrapping this round around, last double crochet, slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. And this is how it looks like. So as you can see, this looks complete. It looks finished. But what we also can do is uh, we can match right here the neckline where we put a uh, round of um, slip stitches. So you will turn this the right side, chain one, and slip stitch into each stitch. This way it will add a nice border and it will look even more finished and um, refined like so. Let me add a few more stitches and you can see the difference here side to side, right here and right here. Just a little bit um, of a little extra detail. Sometimes the details are um, what makes a whole lot of difference and the details sometimes are the ones that, you know, sell the product because the details matter. This is what I have for my short sleeves. So uh, this is how it looks like on the side and this are how um, they will look from, um, you know, the side of the arm. And let's try it on.
For our long sleeve, we will follow the pattern on the sides. I am not going to show you again how to start the sleeve because the beginning is exactly the same uh, like we did. And here I marked the middle of the um, sleeve where we will um, add the leaf. So I will just uh, continue. Remember we had 11 uh, stitches, the block was uh, 11 stitches. So this is the sixth one. I will stop one, two, three, four, five into this one. So I need to add one more double crochet. So you'll go the first round, then you will start the second round and you will stop five um, stitches away. And I need one more. Okay, now chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next, skip two, five double crochets into the place where we had the stitch marker. And like I said, um, the five double crochets will go, will be aligned with the shoulder seam three four five skip two double crochet into the next chain one skip one double crochet into the next and there is our section now i will go all the way to the end slip stitch flip the work chain three and come back and we got to the design now we will follow the design chain one skip one one double crochet into the next seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. This is how it looks like. And now you already know, we will put one double crochet all the way around, slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning and flip the work. And now we'll chain two, skip two, one double crochet into the next five, two, three, four, five, chain two, skip two, one double crochet into the next. Like so. And again, around and around, and I will meet you back here to continue with the design. And the double crochet into the double crochet. I got to the section. We'll chain three, skip three, one double crochet into the next three. And go the opposite way. One, two, three, one, two, three, double crochet into the next. And let's put another one after. And double crochet right before the section. Here we will chain four, skip four, one double crochet into the next, and chain four, skip four, double crochet into the next. This is the complete section of the leaf. And double crochet into the next. So we we'll, are starting the section all over. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Uh, try to put this into the chain, not around it, so they don't move. And then you will skip two and five double crochets into the next. That will start the new leaf three four five skip two double crochet into the next 
chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. And let's put another one or two. And the section started. So now you can continue with your sleeve and make it as long as you like. And this is how it will look like folded. So as you can see, the leaf is right with the um, shoulder seam and it will kind of continue um, with the common, with the, with the general theme of the um, leaf. And here is the sleeve with the three sections of the leaf. Obviously you can make it as long as or as short as you would like. There is the inside seam. And for the last round, I um, put one double crochet in each stitch and chain. So um, this round should have the same amount of double crochets as the very first one. And now you can work the cuff however you like. If you have a preferred method, I'll show you the one that um, I will be using today. So for the first one, we will uh, pull a little longer loop, don't chain one, yarn over, go around the post or around the chain three, yarn over, pull through, pull through two and pull through two. And this is our front post double crochet. So we will work three front post double crochets where you push the double crochet towards you and three back post, yarn over, go from the back around the post and push it away from you. Yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. Same again, yarn over, around the next post, pull the yarn through. And same with the next one. And you can slow uh, down the video if it's uh, too fast for you. The toggle is in the right corner, right bottom corner. And that's how I will uh, alternate them. Three front post double crochets and three back post double crochets. And this way it will... Um, make possible for the sleeve to gather together. And let's see, I need to finish the round and I'm left with only two. Uh, actually, uh, there will be five front post double crochets. Slip stitch into the first and let's see what we have. So yeah, the inside of the sleeve will have five and the rest are three and three. But um, as you can see, something started forming already. Chain three. And so now our front post turned into back post. Push it away, go around the post of the next stitch. And from the back, go around the post. And now I have three front posts. We'll work around them. And I will continue with the pattern where I work three front and three back posts. I want to put a few stitches so you can see how the pattern will go. Uh, you can also use the option of one and one, one front, one back, one front, one back. Um, do two and two, really doesn't matter to be honest, whatever you like. And this is how it looks like. I don't want it super tight around the wrist, um, just tight enough uh, for a, let's say a three quarter or a shorter sleeve. Um, so, um, there is still enough opening uh, for movement. So yeah, you're gonna go around back and forth, back and forth, um, add as many rounds as you like. Uh, 
my idea will be to make the sleeve uh, with this pattern to match the back and uh, to invert whatever was on the front. And here we begin uh, the same joint in the armpit and chain three, double crochet into the same stitch. Now I will put two double crochets in each stitch because when you uh, do double crochet, chain one, skip one double crochet. Uh, I actually already tried it and noticed that um, it didn't really, oh, it didn't do well. So here I have the, this, still have this previously, we started undoing it. So uh, here we put only one double crochet in each stitch and we carried on with the pattern. Uh, the sleeve, like as you can see, did not shrink. Uh, if when I tried, um, I disassembled everything down to here. And when I tried to do double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, it shrank. So what I decided to do is to put two double crochets in each stitch. Depends how wide you want your sleeve to be. Uh, I like my sleeves to be pretty straight, but if you want it to be... Um, if you want it to be poofy and then um, here or here, whatever, uh, to put the cuff, then go with two double crochets. Um, if you want it to be straight or not as big, uh, put uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. And here I marked the double crochet that is aligned with um, the seam. So um, the design is exactly on the, uh, um, on the top of the sleeve. So once you're done with the uh, first round, flip the work. And from here on, we will start crocheting, uh, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet. So chain three counts as a double crochet plus chain one, so total of chain four. Yarn over, skip one, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Same, all the way um, to the, oops, to the top. Now you can close per se, and uh, you can either close this two or you can close uh, this four. It's up to you. Uh, regardless, it will match the front of the top with um, our double crochets. So um, I would suggest, since we had four openings here, to have four closed. So I will undo everything up to this double crochet where I'm holding my finger. And I'll put double crochet into the next. So that would have been the skipped one. The next is double crochet. This would have been the skipped one. Uh, the next is the middle. So, and then would have been the skipped one. Double crochet. The skipped one. Double crochet like so and now if you would count it will align so i'll remove so this would have been skipped left skipped left skipped left skipped left and one two three four exactly what we needed and what we wanted makes sense i hope it does now from here on you will repeat the pattern of chain one skip one double crochet um, and from here on, you really don't have to do any more calculations because all the following rounds, uh, you will basically follow what's here. Here, one advice. Let's say if you um, didn't calculate correctly. This is the armpit, right? So nobody is going to be looking in there. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I would hate for you to undo everything. So um, let's pretend that this doesn't exist. So I ended up with not with not having anything to skip. 
you still chain one um, yarn over and you can actually well um, I have here enough to skip but um, let's say there is nothing here still chain one and go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning even there is no stitch here nobody's gonna look at it nobody's gonna count uh you know like who's gonna see it no one even if you are uh, making for an order i don't think the person will will notice that there is no double crochet here and you just chained one and um you know slip stitch into the third chain or let's say if you if it's to you it's too tight and you want to add another one double crochet you can well i haven't here um but you you can put another double crochet into the same stitch chain one and connect into the third chain from the beginning and you will have like one extra space again if you need it it nobody's gonna notice it or yes they will notice it but who knows it's in the armpit nobody's gonna see it there um so yeah before you frog everything play with it don't give up too easily sometimes the pattern just works out by itself okay so we completed this round turn or flip to the right side and uh pick up with the pattern chain four skip one double crochet into the next and all the way until our section with double crochets one after another and we got to the section here the ones that we chose to close same one double crochet on top of each double crochet and you can use this technique for any garment really any garment you can add sleeves to anything you like um, all you have to do is follow the main pattern kind of play around with it uh, if the main pattern calls for an odd number have an odd number on the sleeve even number have an even number on the sleeve choose which part of the design you want to implement into the sleeve or if there will not be any design it will be just double crochets basically same idea for any sleeve any garment i hope this helps you're gonna make the sleeve however long you like it for the last uh, round we will put one double crochet in each stitch and chain around so um, chain three and double crochet into the chain one space and double crochet into the next stitch so on until you go all the way around do not cut the yarn now we'll change the crochet hook from five i want to go half size less to four and a half you can go uh, you can either stay with the same hook or um, go lower totally up to you and um, i will add the sleeve cuff let me show you i started this one at least you will know what um, i'm going to be meaning so this is where i started rather this way um, and um i also wanted to have this design i'll show you how i got that and uh, this is how it stretches and this is from the other side so i started with chain 15 um it, it's up to you how long you want the sleeve actually you know what let's not change the hook I, I don't think i changed the hook for the base chain so chain 15 now let me share something that i learned um off of instagram you can see the this like the v's you will be working in the back loop of of these back loops change the hook so the first one will be a slip stitch in no lord help me and then we will do single crochets so i'm using like this the back one if i turn it see the v's are not touched i'm using the one from the back and i'm gonna put single crochets And 
end into the last one I'll put it in this stitch and even let's say if this is like a base chain for any any project um, when you turn it this is the bottom of your base chain since the base was 15 and I sing uh, slip stitched into the next so my total is 14 now to achieve the design on the other sleeve uh, I will join into the front loop only but I will grab um, just for extra security I will grab this little loop with the other side of the V and get it through the middle and slip stitch once then slip stitch into the next see i'm grabbing only the back loop with the back loop slip stitch second time and slip stitch third time through the middle of the v and now when you turn You will skip these three, one, two, three, and you will go into the back loop of the um, cuff with a single crochet. And you will stop at the last stitch. We will put a slip stitch into that one, not a single crochet. But you can simplify this if you want to do only single crochets, if you want to work in both loops. Um, I mean, it depends how far you wish to push yourself, how to challenge yourself. But there are ways around how to simplify things. Uh, you should not feel bad about it. And this is the last one. I'll slip stitch in it. chain one and turn repeating the rows so slip stitch into the first into the back loop one single crochet into the back loop all the way till the sleeve and make sure you count yours you have your count if you're doing 14 then it's uh, 15 14 then this is what you're gonna have and now we're joining again we will join grab the back loop with the back loop of the v slip stitch once next two loops slip stitch second time and third time When you turn so you can see the V's here going into our uh, single crochet so you will skip the three that you slip stitched one two three into your single crochet into the back loop and you count to make sure that you have the same amount of or the same number of stitches 13 and the last one is a slip stitch 14 chain one turn starting all over slip stitch into the back loop of the first stitch one single crochet into the back loop of the remaining of the stitches into the last and we're connecting to the next two loops slip stitch once slip stitch second time and third and make sure you went through the middle of the V flip the work and these are my both sleeves one that started and this one that we started together you can also use this as the bottom 
um, of your sweater if you prefer to have um, one like this at the bottom you can also try the same for your uh, neckline i went with the regular post um, double crochets front and back um, i don't think i filmed a tutorial on this one but we're learning about sleeves anyway so uh, yeah go the full um, circle around or if you want to leave your sleeves wide it's fine too